Hi, and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, what I'm going to do is uh, give you an introduction into uh, subnetting and subnetworks. So, what is subnetting? Well, subnetting is a method of making more efficient use of uh, the available uh, address space, uh, the address space which is available to us. So, for example, if we were the network manager for a small company which had two groups of users, so maybe um, an admin group of users with five uh, with five hosts required, and uh, a sales group of users with ten hosts required, we would need two network addresses ordinarily uh, for these two networks without subnetting. What subnetting allows us to do is to split up a single network address into multiple subnetworks uh, by borrowing bits from the host part of our network address to create a new subnetwork part of the address, which is considered part of the network part of the address. So it's a method of making more efficient use of the available address space and it allows us to split up a single network into multiple subnetworks. So let's go uh, through what an example of traditional subnetting would actually look like then. So imagine that we're the IT manager for a small school uh, with three classes, each with ten students, and there's also five teachers. So we've been allocated the network address of 192.168.10.0 to use. So that's our network address. and. Um, what we need to do is think about how many subnetworks we're going to need. Because we've got three classes, each with ten students, we're going to need three subnets for the students, uh, each with ten hosts. So we're assuming that uh, every student in the school is going to need to use uh, a computer in the classroom and uh, we want to divide um, the students into uh, onto subnetworks uh, by class. Um, and each class has 10 students in, so we need 10 hosts on each subnetwork. We've also got uh, the need for another subnet, so we need one, one more subnet for the teachers. And that needs five hosts for the five teachers. So how can we divide uh, the uh, original network address that we've been given, 192.168.10.0, into uh, the four subnetworks that we need? Well, what we do is we uh, take the network part of the address and we leave it alone because we can't do anything with that. But what I'm going to do now to make this a bit clearer is to uh, uh, express the host part of the address in binary as a binary byte. Okay, so that's going to be our first subnetwork. And what we're doing here is we're borrowing two bits for the subnetwork part of the address. So we're actually going to um, uh, have the first 26 bits of the address as our network part of the address and the last six bits as our host part of the address and we're borrowing two bits because that gives us four variations so two to the four two to the two variations uh, of uh, two bits and uh, that's good because we need four subnets so we could uh, express we could have a unique uh, 2-bit uh, identifier in this part of the address for each subnet. So that'll be our next subnet, we can just change this to a 1 and leave that to a 0. That'll be our next subnet, we change that to a 0, but that to a 1. And that'll be our final subnet. And writing these completely in decimal, what we get is 192.168.10.0 and we do uh, we get these addresses by simply converting this uh, last uh, binary bytes as a whole into decibel. And in reality, uh, if you were actually designing a network for this school, what you would have uh, is uh, possibly a few more subnets because uh, if you were, uh, if you needed multiple uh, routers, for example, in your network, uh, you might need a subnet for the uh, serial link between those routers. Uh, but we're not uh, going to worry about that now because we're just looking at, in principle, how do we create uh, X number of subnets. So what's going to be the subnet mask uh, for this uh, for these addresses then? So the subnet mask is going to be uh, 255.255.255.11 if we're expressing the last byte in binary. 
Um, reason it's uh, a 1 1 here is because we're using these two bits as well for the network part. And if we convert that completely into decimal, what we get is 255.255.255. And I'll continue it down here. Dot 192. And if we wanted to express these sub network addresses in slash notation, we'd simply do slash 26 on each of them because we're using 26 uh, bits as the network part of our address. And, and that is how we create uh, four uh, networks out of one uh, network address. We've created four sub networks from one network address. But there are some problems with doing subnetworks this way. And one of the uh, major problems with this is that it doesn't give us very much flexibility and it wastes a lot of addresses. And the reason uh, it wastes a lot of addresses is because every subnet, regardless of how many hosts we need, uh, when we were creating these subnets, we didn't care that we needed te only 10 hosts on this subnet, on these subnetworks, or only five hosts on these subnetworks. Uh, doing it this way, each of these subnetworks is going to have room for two to the uh, six hosts. That's far more than we need for these subnets. So one way to make more efficient use of this address space and have uh, scope to add more subnets uh, in the future, uh, because we've used uh, the entirety of our um, our address space here of this uh, network address for these four subnets, even though we don't need um, uh, that that many addresses for these uh, subnets. One way to make more efficient use of this address space is to use variable length sub subnet masks, and this is often abbreviated to VLSM. And I'll cover that in a future video. And that is one way we can make more efficient use of this uh, address space. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. Just um, going through uh, how to create a certain number of subnet. Uh, subnets from a network address uh, and you could do uh, if you wanted to create more subnets uh, for uh, from this network address you'd simply have to borrow more bits so uh, for example if we wanted up to eight subnets we would borrow three bits because two to the three uh, bits borrowed so three bits borrowed we get two to the three uh, subnets which is eight subnets so yes yeah, so I hope you found this tutorial uh, video useful and uh, thanks for watching